Let's go paint some pottery hands. I'm Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush and I want to help people who are non-artists become artists. Like, just like, just like, check, check me out and like me, all right? This particular picture was taken by Marie, Bedard, Karen, Car Karen, Karan, could be Karan. I'm not sure if I messed up your name. Sorry, I really appreciate your picture. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this. It is a beautiful picture. Over the last year, my mom, she'd never been baptized. She's 91 years old. And so she wanted to go get baptized with the Catholic Church. It's a lot of work. The, there's these three ladies who do this, and I know it's a lot of work. And I'm a, a volunteer at the Senior Center, and I know they work hard. I really wanted to do something for them. And one of these ladies would say to me, when she was talking about God, she was talking about God and the fact that God shapes us like a potter's hands shape us a pot. And I'm like, and then that day, you, Marie, had posted this. I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. I'm just gonna paint this, I must paint this. Well, it took me a little while, I'm a little slow but I'm doing it now. Don't forget, down below in the description will be the, the photo, the drawing, and the value sketch. You can, you can paint along with me. Well, one of the things I love about some pictures, I like dark and light. That just gets me excited. And that one mainly is a dark picture, just a few things of light. The background is not important. I did did lighten it up a little bit just so I could see what was going on and none of it's important. So I'm going to make the background kind of soft, maybe a little abstract. You really may not know what's going on, but I don't care because I want you to focus on the potter molding his cup. This is definitely going to be a very cool painting. A lot of blues, a warm purple, and a warm brown. And I think those are the main colors, except for the ones where I'm going to use the hands. So I'm going to keep a pretty limited palette, probably no more than six colors. It didn't look too hard, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, okay, let's see. You know, old hands are kind of gnarly. And again, I just did a dirty hand one last week. So check it out. That was too funny. And I'm doing another hand one with dirty hands. How fun is that? This should be interesting. Let's go paint. Put it in the background, keep it kind of a gray toned. And so I'm just gonna use this and that. So let's just get a wash. We'll figure it out in a minute. I'm not totally sure what I wanna do with it, but I do know it's in the background. It's not important. And then I can just get color. And then I can figure out what I'm going to do with it afterwards. Now right here it's a little lighter, so I'm just going to make sure it's a little lighter. So this is pretty an easy start, man. You can just go for it. Not really. I'm using two colors. it's gonna get really dark. So I can go ahead and just pop a dark in there. Changing colors a little bit. There's some light, some darks. It, it's mud. How do I make mud? So I've almost got the background painted. That didn't take very long. Boom, 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 I'm out of there. 
there's darks, there's lights, there's it's all these little things, different colors, and it goes all the way up until I hit that hand. I'm just going to kind of a, melt it in and let it figure out what it wants to do. And I'm going to leave some little areas of light there. I'm going to soften an area right here because I'm going to bleed in some of that hat color. There's this little white area and it's kind of white here, a little darker here. I'm just shoving it into the thing. It won't hurt a thing. There seems to be an almost very tint of blue through here. I'm just going to kind of pop that in. We have blue jeans. It's, I think it's blue. I think that's all blue. Not sure, but we're just going to pretend it's blue. So I'm going to go ahead and let that bleed in. So we know on this side, just, just pretty much is going to be dark. And I'm not really worried about mixing and, and I'm not fighting to get the, uh, everything done. In fact, I can bring that right here so I have something there. Now I can take this and just move this right here too because it'll just be a dark. What I'm looking for, where are those white spots, man? Those white spots, they need to say white. Okay, I missed that. That is a white spot right here. Oh, come on. Don't give me grief. It's a really interesting color. Um, So I used... um. A little of this. Maybe I won't worry about it. Let's try this a different way because I think I'm going to drag myself crazy if I do it the weather way. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get color and let it kind of figure out what it wants to do. So I'm going to do this color. I got this color and a little of that color. Let's just go for it. I'm just going to make it really juicy and kind of let it do it saying I may pull some of this out when I'm as I come down but I I really don't know how to get that color so I think I'm just gonna yeah just pretend boy that's a pretty color I don't know what I'm doing exactly but isn't that pretty Maybe that is. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not supposed to be liking it so much. I really like it. It's pretty. Look at the colors. All right, I'm also going to, I'm going to soften this. I do not like how hard that I made that. So I'm just going to add water and just kind of blend it in. And it all has movement. All right. So I think I'm going to work on the background. The background is very soft. I don't really know. We don't really know what it really is, nor do we really care. Is it important? No. So the next thing, shape, I can see it's a little darker is that and i'm using the same color i'm not i'm not being too uh persnickety about the color i'm going to take just a piece of dark and i recognize it doesn't have dark there but i think it would be helpful to us I don't need to know exactly what this is i guess that's basically what i'm trying to tell you is don't be so you know you need to know this is in the background it's something whatever so 
So there's this big dark shape right here and it hooks into this and it actually goes into that somewhat. So see right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and like show there's a shadow there. Now there does seem to be some kind of a pot, a, um, I really don't know. And I don't want it to be important. And the reason why I don't want it to be important is because um, it could attract attention and has pretty colors and actually goes straight into this shadow. I should have put this right here as I'm doing it. I'm going to soften this. This should not be a hard line. And I'm going to soften and try to get just a line work there. If I do that while it's still wet, that'll be good. And then there's a whole bunch of darks here, right? A little mud. You know, we need a little mud. What do you think? This actually goes into the hand and I'm going to go ahead and put some of that there just until I get ready to decide what I'm going to do exactly. See how juicy that is? It's a little juicy. Let me get a little thicker here. So just because the hand is the focus I will actually be a little more careful and go around the hand now. Maybe. Maybe not. Definitely have to flip that over. Now, I'm not worried about the fact that it is a little bit in the hands. It really won't hurt anything. Because I can come back here and put color. I can pull some out if I'm worried about it. I think I got a little too bright right there. I'm going to go straight in here. Oh, yeah. I didn't catch that. And I'm going to just soften it.
Then there's this little white area. I'm going to leave that white in part of it. I like this. Let's see. Now, here, it's a hard edge. And it's darker. I'll pop that in. And then there's a dark edge right here. Right here, I really show what's going on with the hands. Now, let's see what's going on over here. I don't want a hard edge. Again, I'm trying to make sure that I know. And I like the fact that that's connected. You really don't see. So there's little lights, but there is amazingly darks right here that really pops that hand off. If I'm going to use the hand with different colors, I need to make sure that we use those colors in other places. Let's go skin tone. Old. I'm trying to think. Skin tone old. What do I need? I flip it this way. I don't want it to be, um, I want it to melt in a little bit right here. And so I'm going to, I flipped it so that I could maybe get it to get a little melt in. I don't want it to be hard. Hang on, it didn't work. Soft, 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 adding a little bit. And it's, um, I want to say mud. Is it mud? I don't know if it's mud. But let's. And then there's this, this really white area. I think, I think I'm going to get rid of this. Even though I know it's there, I don't think it's helpful. <laughs> yeah, we all have to say, is it helpful? Does it tell what I want to say? All right, we do one ten at a time because, boy, I'll get confused. It's a little confusing. Oh, yes. Just a little confusing. I think I missed a line. Right. Here, see it? Sorry about that. This got really dark and brown. So we're going to say, okay, that's a little mud. Mud, 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 mud. Kind of melt it in. Maybe skip a little pieces, right? Dark and dirty, man. Let's separate this. That'll help some. Most of this is just messy. So. Let's give a little some space of a little pink and stuff as we go. That's just pushing on that hand. And it goes all the way down here. Here, again, it's really dark. This one's probably the darkest of them, and it goes right there. And then a little dirt. <laughs>
Pink messy. Pink dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. I'm looking at this he has this white stuff on his hand and I think I'm going to pull some out right now so I don't lose it I'm looking at that thinking mm, didn't quite get what I wanted so I'm just gonna let that dry I'm gonna come back and do a little bit of drawing once I'm done so each one is going to have to just be carefully drawn. When you have hands and you're wanting specific things, yeah, you got to kind of be gentle. And I got a little too rough already. I can see versus hand versus uh, the curve of that hand. So this way I know where things are at and I don't get confused. I'm gonna melt that, I didn't mean to. Okay, so let me pull that out real fast. When it's moving where you don't supposed to, the first thing I did is I Hold it. There's a roundness to that shape, so I'm gonna pull that back up to make sure I can see that roundness. There we go. Good enough. Stop playing. Alrighty. Right in this, there's a really dark and a loop into that, but I don't want to do it right now. Now I can see I had that problem over here. I want to make sure that I see this shape. This is the shape. It goes here, it loops here, it goes over here, goes there, and that's gonna stay white. And even to the point of I prefer to, to pull a little bit out to make absolutely sure that it, there's no doubt that that's white. Any kind of muck will calm it down. And so I'm gonna actually just put it dark, maybe a little more red tone into it, but mainly just dark. So I don't know really which is the cup and which go is the, um, that's interesting. Nothing here. It's like mm, it's all dark. It's dark. I really not sure what's going on. So I'm just gonna try to follow the shape. light line and I'm going to pop in and it's kind of in and out and I'm not going to make it I'm going to try to make it a little jaggedy and I have no idea what's going on there isn't that lovely 
Yes, that makes total sense. Not. Then there's this little shape right here. And this shape has a blue tint. Now, I am really looking at shapes, man. I am not concerned about whether or not it is perfect shape. Because right now, I don't see where the doggone fingers are at. I spy with my little eye. Kind of a wet tone right here. And it kind of melts into this. Maybe not that bright. Calm that down a little bit. Okay, now, now it's kind of a, a gold warm color right here. Let's go back to red, I think. So this is his knuckle right there. I can find that. Yay, I found something. Okay. And then there's, again, some more clean, reasonably clean mess. And then it's going to get dark again, right? Missing the for the turn of the thumb. Okay, so this is that. gonna soften it that actually actually looks like a hard line it's kind of weird all right so let me just a moment soften it and i'll think about what i'm gonna do with that so you have a really dark where that line's at see it right there see that line and it and it, it kind of moves it this way a bit darker and there's this white kind of like it's kind of moving it in and there's movements like that right all of a sudden right in this area it gets really dark gonna just kind of move this and I'm gonna keep lightening it up a little bit so that we can see that there is that movement this is really dark right underneath it goes here what's it do it goes down it has like a point and it ends right here. Okay, happy days. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. This, I don't want to lose that spot. There's a one other little light area. Where is it? 
it's right after I hit that point, there's another kind of a curve line. And then this goes. This is fascinating. This dark goes right here and it kind of tips right here. Decide what I'm going to do with that, but it actually just does that. Yep, 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 yep. There's a really dark blue and it kind of skips and moves and skips and moves. Um, and I'm going to do some, some of this and I'm just going to soften some edges. Okay. I don't want it to be really important, but it's, there is. And then that loops into that darker area. And then right here, it's really, really dark. Just go for it, Michelle. You can do this. It goes really, really dark. And we really don't see. Whoop, maybe not that dark. Boy, I can get dark so fast. Okay. So basically there's this little area that's lighter. Now, this just kind of melts into that. There's this really dark, dark shape. It goes, I'm gonna hit it again. see I'm pulling I need to pull out some of this blue so let's and I miss this this comes down here see it and it's actually really dark hmm, miss that one This has been one of the wildest hands I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I've ever done anything quite like this. This has different colors. There's just, yeah. Yep. So let's look at the shape because I didn't get the shape good. All right. So this comes down and all of a sudden it turns. And then it bounces over. Interesting. So there's this little area. Let me just add a little area that I don't have to really know where it is. It's just there's a little light skin right there. So all of this basically is a darker shade. So we can just say that right off the beginning. Okay, so I'm, it goes straight. It goes up. 
it goes down and goes into here. some of these movements actually go right they move here and moves and some of it moves that way and there's new movements okay this is good a kind of a purpley toned right here Now, I don't have to repeat, show every little line. The interesting little line work is there's, you know, it has movement. dirt here and there. This is just as dark as I can get it. And then there's movement. How about I soften this area? I know it looks hard, but I say it should be softened. Yeah, I'm going to soften. I don't want to do this to be, so I'm just going to go soften right into that. Maybe a little splatter in his hands, if that makes sense. And on his thing, is that going to be enough that says, oh yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right, looking at the same colors, so I can definitely. It looks like some of it is this kind of a, a yucky brown. And some of it's pretty blue, but not gorgeous blue. And it really seems to me, as weird as it sounds, this is um, I think I'm gonna scoot that right on in there. <laughs> Get brave. This side's going to be much darker. And I'm just throwing some of this in because it makes it more fun. And how dark is it? Well, you know, it's in and out, in and out, right? Okay, how am I going to get this making 
some of that line work? Well, okay, it has to be thicker, right? It's unlikely I'm going to happen. So let me do a little. And I'm seeing, does it move? idea so this goes really dark really dark it goes around it goes right out here I do think this is an important little light area. Just a few lights and darks. What do you think, guys? How? What do I still need, really? I don't need to have all this stuff in the background. It's there, but I definitely don't want it to be important. I don't want, I don't want this to be important. Maybe there's little light, little lights here and there, right? But I don't want it to be very important. Now this is going to get darker and darker and darker. This, I really want this to go right here and to lose it. A little scary. Here I just cover everything up. But it's not what I wanted you to pay attention to. I want you, and right here, I'm actually I'm losing, I, I lose this. I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to definitely going to evaluate carefully now because what do I really need to do versus, you know, is just busy work. If there is a big light right here. I'm just going to grab some of that. Because this is where I think he's running his hands. I think that's supposed to be a little lighter. Maybe a little more. Just. I don't know. Do I need it? See? I know that there's a big line there. But do I need it? Mm, not really. Well, <laughs> you know, I like it. But it was harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> you know, I had forgotten that old people, their hands do funny things. And he's got, but there's white mixes and all kinds of colors. And it was very confusing, I felt. I get when I mess up and I can't figure out what I'm doing. I go back to light and dark, light and dark. And that's what exactly what I did is I went back to this is dark, this is light, this is dark, that's light. And that's, you know, and it does show what I wanted to say, 
but it's a little abstract. I did not do like a very persnickety hands, but you still see what I want you to say. And so did I do it right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I did what I could do. Maybe 10 years from now I can do this again, even better. I'm actually pleased. I got kind of scared. I had the background kind of soft and I thought, oh, okay, I'm just gonna cover it, mute it out. Oh, that was scary, really was. And I was like, okay, so we're all learning. I learn every painting I do that I should have thought, oh, should have done that different or, oh, not a good idea. It's the fun part of painting. Enjoy the fact that sometimes the messed up are the things you kind of like anyway. I love that about watercolor. You know what? Come paint with me. I have the drawing, the photo, and a value sketch. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. When you don't know what you're doing, drop that brush. You have a wonderful week. Bye.